Okay, let's get started. Starting out with two large sweet potatoes. I've already peeled them. I also already cut them in half. You'll want to cut the slices approximately a half inch thick. Be sure to keep them all similar to size so they all get done at the same time. Now you could also cut these in cubes if you prefer cubes. Okay, now I place them all in the bowl. I'll add my half cup unsalted butter, which you could also use salted if you don't have the unsalted. All my dry ingredients, which is three quarter cup brown sugar, quarter teaspoon salt, half teaspoon of cinnamon, quarter teaspoon of nutmeg, and a quarter teaspoon of ginger. You want to stir all that to get it all combined. And then after you get it well combined, you'll want to put it in your baking dish. You want your oven at preheated at 375 degrees. Right here, I'm making sure I get all that goodness out of there. Always be sure to put most of my butter on top, that way it can melt over my potatoes. After I get everything situated here, I'll put my foil on. And I'll put it in the bottom rack for 30 minutes. Okay, the 30 minutes has passed. I'll get out. I'll do another stir and I'll add honey, which is optional. It's fine without honey. I just like a lot of sweet. Make sure you get them well covered with all that juice in there. You don't want these to dry out. Again, honey's optional. Or if you didn't have honey, you could also, you could add more brown sugar, more than what it's called for. Okay, now you want to put it in the oven uncovered for 20 minutes. Okay, after the 20 minutes is done, give it another stir. Now add your marshmallows, which again, these are optional, but I prefer marshmallows on top of mine. Put them back in the oven once again. You can set the broiler for 30 seconds or you could put them in back in there just in baking for uh, like five minutes or so just till they get start getting brown. Okay, so that was the last step. Now you're ready to eat. We're going to make make a lid mashed potatoes today. First, I'm going to wash these. You can heat your oven at 350 degrees. And you want them to bake uh, 50 to 60 minutes until they're done. Just put them on the wire rack.
potatoes are done, you want to make sure you cut these while they're hot because they're easier to cut. And then just spoon out the inside. This is for people that don't like to peel potatoes. So much easier this way. done here. Last one. These little mitts are handy when it comes to doing this. Your potatoes fit right in there. Okay, here's where a potato masher would really come in handy. I don't have one, so I'm going to use my extra set of beater. Not sure why I put it in this bow. I'm going to transfer it to this bow. So I can mix it. Okay, you want to gradually add in your milk a little bit at a time. Recipe calls for eight teaspoons, but right now you just want to put half of that in there. Or sorry, tablespoons. calls for two cups of heavy cream. I only had milk today, so that's what I used, and I only used one cup. But you may have to add more if you make these the day ahead when you warm them up, but that's all there is to it.